Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make steamed broccoli in the Instant Pot. Hi, I'm Karen Peterson, and I run the blog 365daysofcrockpot.com, where you will find lots and lots of Instant Pot and Crockpot recipes. Today, I'm going to be showing you something that I do often, is just steaming broccoli in the Instant Pot. This just takes a couple of minutes, it's super easy, and it uh, turns out well every time if you do it the way I say. There's a couple things that don't turn out if you do it the wrong way. So just follow the recipe as I state in this video and you'll be just fine. If you'd like, I would love it if you would subscribe to this YouTube channel. I post new videos every single Tuesday and they're all about the Instant Pot. So if you love your Instant Pot, you'll probably find this channel very handy. I'd also love it if you would join our 365 Days of Instant Pot Recipes Facebook group. You can find the link to that in the notes below. If you're on a mobile device, go ahead and just click the title of this video and it will pull up in all of my notes and you can see all the things that I link to and hopefully they'll be helpful to you. So let's get on with the video. I'm going to show you exactly what to do to make perfect steamed broccoli in the Instant Pot. The first thing that you need to do is just add one cup of water into the Instant Pot and then go ahead and put a trivet or steamer basket in the bottom. Then you're gonna use one big head of broccoli. Now you're wondering, can I cut it up into florets or can I use the florets that I buy at Costco in the back? And the answer is no, not for the Instant Pot. And the reason is it'll get too mushy. You need to cook it all in one big uh, head of broccoli. And if that's not going to work for you, then you can easily do this on the stove. It's not a problem. But I'm showing you how to do it in the Instant Pot, so that's why we're going to do the big head. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Cover the pot. Make sure valve is set to sealing and not to venting. And then go ahead and press the manual button right here. Some models also use pressure cook, um, have a pressure cook button, but this one uses manual manual and I'm going to go ahead and put it down to zero minutes and that just means the pot's going to build pressure and once it reaches pressure it's going to be done cooking and your broccoli will be steamed. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Once the pot is done cooking it will switch over to the keep warm mode which starts with an L and then this is how many minutes it's been done so it's just gotten done. So we're going to go ahead and move the valve from sealing to venting. Once you can, go ahead and remove the lid and your broccoli should be perfectly cooked. And then you can cut it up into bite-sized pieces for your dinner. This is the best way that I've found to, to steam broccoli in the Instant Pot. It comes out perfectly cooked, not overcooked, not mushy. There's a little bit of bite to it, but it's not hard or crunchy. I hope this was helpful to you today. Go ahead and use that zero pressure cook time on your Instant Pot. All right, thanks. We'll see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.